The commander is back in the headlines tonight. A former athletic trainer for the team appearing in federal court today on drug charges. Jacqueline Matter took a look at the court document. She is in the newsroom with more in a case that got a lot of attention, Jacqueline. It sure did, Jim Marina. Hey there. The former commander's trainer, Ryan Vermillion, reaching a deal to avoid drug distribution charges, which could ultimately be dropped completely as part of his agreement. Now, you may remember last October when drug enforcement agents raided his home as well as Washington. Washington team facilities in relation to these charges. Vermillion was under investigation by the Drug Enforcement Agency for illegally distributing distributing oxycodone to NFL players. He agreed to a deferred prosecution. Federal prosecutors say he gave pills to injured players in relation to football related injuries. Meanwhile, the commanders also have two physicians who have the ability to prescribe painkillers. However, Vermillion is not one of them. Despite this, though, court documents show that he did have custody of one of the physician's prescribing pads. As part of his plea agreement, Vermillion agreed to a $10,000 criminal fine and must undergo periodic drug testing. He also was terminated by the commanders and placed on supervised probation. If he compl complies with the conditions over the next 12 months, the criminal charges against him will be dropped. Head coach Ron Rivera releasing a statement in response to these uh, charges here, saying in part that the situation is unfortunate, and although it resulted in no criminal charges, it was necessary to move forward in a different direction. He went on to say that the commander's organization cooperated fully with federal investigators and will continue to do so as it is committed to the health and safety of its players. The NFL also suspending Vermillion indefinitely. However, he can apply for reinstatement in about a year. The commanders could still be subject to further investigation, though, by the league and the players union. They released a statement today saying that they will determine whether the commanders complied with the prescription drug monitoring program, and the team will also be required to undergo further training. A lot of information there, but it is also worth noting, though, that Coach Rivera was never under any DEA suspicion himself, despite Vermillion working for him for 10 seasons with both the commanders and the Carolina Panthers.